Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard Products 284Q. This is a brown piece of curved-in style foam weather stripping, commonly referred to as Q-Lon. Fits into a kerf that's an eighth of an inch wide. 7 sixteenths of an inch deep, 1 inch by 9 sixteenths. So the 1 inch is going to be a reference to the width of the item. 9 sixteenths is going to be a reference to what's called the reach, or the height, I suppose. Let's get the tape measure and check some of these dimensions. I'm going to hold it upside down for the reach. So they're saying it's 9 sixteenths, and that's being measured from the underside or the shoulder to the tip of the unit. So looking at it, how it would normally be installed vertically, of course, it would be from the back side out to here, okay, 9 sixteenths. Overall width they're saying is 1 inch. Sounds a bit heavy, but let's take a look. Yeah, it certainly is. It's going to be far, nowhere near 1 inch wide. Obviously, what they're, it's about 9 sixteenths wide. What they could be talking about is the total, I suppose. Yeah. I'm not sure why that overall matters. Um, although it does, assuming that they're telling you you need a 7 sixteenths kerf and the overall is 1 inch, that makes sense. Sure. I'm not accustomed to it being, I'm not accustomed to seeing it that way. It's 9 sixteenths reach, is how I would know it. Now, the 284Q uh, is an item that is available in, I will tell you in a moment, uh, lots of different lengths. You can have this Q-Lon, they'll cut it to any length that you want, two foot to eight foot, we can actually send any length really that you want, because it can be rolled even though not very tightly. The, uh, the reach that they show in the image to the catalog below says that it's 5 eighths of an inch and that's very common that you know 5 eighths I, I measured closer to 9 sixteenths let me double check that oh yeah five, 5 eighths is is more is certainly more accurate underside of the shoulder to the outside edge now the question becomes is if you're building uh, a frame for this eighth of an inch and then 7 sixteenths deep kerf how much room do you leave between the face of the door and the face of the stop when it's at a you know, 90 degree orientation to the face of the stop or when it's in the closed position? Well, you, you'll have some variety uh, in terms of the range for that. You know, I can take and compress that down to this just with my finger. That would certainly work. So the truth of the matter is you could probably make that dimension, well, I wouldn't make it a half of an inch. Uh, you probably could, and you can see that I easily compress it down to below 3 8 Now, when I've manufactured frames for this sort of material, I've been in the 3 8 range. 3 8 maybe 7 16 Depends on other factors if I believe that there's going to be um, a condition by which uh, the lock set being used uh, has not been mortised for the strike in account for this sort of material, I might make it a little bit less. Uh, but generally in the 3 8 range will work very well uh, for it. Sometimes 7 16 A little bit tighter, I like it. I'm not opposed to pulling the door closed, sealed, tight against it. Now a lot of people like kerf style weather stripping because they're very durable and long lasting. The installation, I've got an installation here that's 10 years old. The material looks like the day it went in, hasn't fatigued at all is very easily replaceable. You will just simply tug out the old and insert the new, trim it, things of that nature, and it's a very simple, straightforward maneuver uh, for that. You see also that you can do it as a 184 QA or a QB or a QDKB. You can take this same material and then install it with an aluminum extrusion over it. That's handy because a lot of people like the effectiveness of a curved style or Q-Lon type uh, shape. 
it is very effective and very durable. In the event where you want that sort of item and you do not have a kerf because it's an existing installation, you can get you can buy that 184 material. The A is uh, a clear anodized finish on the aluminum holder. The B is a gold anodized finish, and the DKB is a dark bronze anodized finish over the aluminum. So that's all very handy to note there. Uh, then, and finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full National Guard weather stripping product catalog, which is very handy because it will allow you to review all things National Guard weather stripping related thresholds, door sweeps, uh, perimeter gasketing like this, material made of stainless steel, aluminum, obviously, uh, architectural bronze, a name synonymous with weather stripping, and if you have more than an occasional need for it, by all means, familiarize yourself with the National Guard catalog. If you have any questions on the National Guard 284Q, this is a brown, curved in style weather stripping used on wood frames, residential applications, or any other National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.